Yeah, so Michael B. Jordan wasn't joking when he said that the movie is anime AF. This is a very good anime movie. Rocky is a franchise that is near and dear to my heart, and I love every single one of them, except five. I don't know what, what was going on with that. Creed could have easily been a cash grab, but Michael B. Jordan directing this has taken this franchise to another level, and while I loved all of the Creed movies, this, for me, was my absolute favourite. The right end of every Rocky, Creed, or sports drama has the caring character kind of getting beaten down, destroyed, and it being a one-sided until he really stands up and then knocks out and wins. Here, Creed uses his skills and knowledge, accepting that he has earned his place and wasn't a typical underdog fight. It's more like Naruto learning to control his power in his fight against pain in Naruto Shippuden, Confident and risking it all against a dominant opponent, he believed and he did everything. The start is very much like Rocky III, with Majors Damien reminding me of Clubber Lang, demanded a shot at the champ, someone he deems who gave into hype and sold his soul, making boxing secondary and losing sight of what he is. Now, these childhood friends was this was a great, great story. And having them, one, go to jail and one, go on to live their life, well, that is a story I always find very interesting. In a franchise that is almost eight or nine movies deep, spanning decades, how the heck do you even keep it fresh? Because franchise fatigue is something, especially for those of us who are ancient and have watched all of them. Well, this movie went so fast, it felt like a mini anime arc. Things moved fast and I kept very simple with Majors being the blast from the past, former childhood friends turned enemies. I think Naruto and Sasuke, but were they ever friends? Truncated montage scenes, we don't have the whole constant deep dive into them fighting. The story's kept short and simple, there's no need for extra long reflective moments, a weigh-in, a press conference. It goes straight to the point. Adonis knows what he needs to do and goes for it right away. We get almost straight into the fight and it felt very refreshing. Majors excels as the villain of the piece, quietly menacing at first with his acting showing, telegraphing what's coming next. And we shouldn't trust him. And the movie doesn't treat the audience like dummies. It just shows not tells. Jordan directs the former friends expertly in his, I think, his debut, and that's... I can't wait to see what he does next. In a tangled story of one wanting revenge for being left and the other living the life he wanted, but now wanting to make it right. And this misunderstanding leads to one heck of a movie. While the formula is largely the same, either... The, the fight goes wrong at the, the start and he loses, leaving to reflection, or the guy gets called out, a la the, the, the return of Rocky with the young guy and things like that. But here, the fights look stunning. And again, it is fast-paced. It just looks great with the camera shots, showing the shots land, Reminded me of Naruto and Dragon Ball Z and many other amazing animes. One Punch Man coming to mind. Mr. Jordan is also a fellow man of culture as I adore the fight at Dodger Stadium. He's showing the big Saudi fights of today. He could have easily just replicated what is happening today. But no, he went for an old school baseball stadium fight. And it really did work. The movie felt very small, but also big, because the mountain of Jonathan Majors was something to climb, and I'm sure many women watching the movie did want to climb that mountain. But the movie portrays a void scene here at the end, where it's two guys beating the heck out of each other, just like in Naruto, and it strips it back. It's easily one of the most creative and risk-taking of the franchise stylistically, and yes, while it looked good, it's backed up by two stunning actors, and the plot is just so enjoyable. I was rooting 
for Adonis at the end there. Seeing the different characters such as Ivan Drago return as well was really neat and a bit surprising, but I guess those two made up and uh, yeah, they both got uh, issues with family to say the least. But overall, it was an absolutely enjoyable experience and I was wondering why we needed a Creed 3, but Michael B. Jordan showed us why exactly we needed a Creed 3, because this was a lot of fun. But that's it. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you soon, and goodbye.